Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of the Terraria Calamity playthrough. We're back today, thank you very, very much once again for the support you showed in the last episode, reaching the 1300 likes, which is really quite amazing. I never really expect the amount of support you guys show, but uh, that's really quite something. So guys, thank you very much. And of course, if you still like for the series and you enjoy the episodes that do come out, do be sure to head down below the video, drop a like rating. Now guys, today we have a lot of things to do. We've got a lot of things to do, starting off with Queen Bee. We need to take down Queen Bee. We need to try and get ourselves the bee's knees because for those of you guys who remember, if we just grab this, put that in here, we can make ourselves a Lunarian bow if we manage to get ourselves the bee's knees. We we have the purified gel and we have these two weapons already. In addition to that, we're going to be heading over to the dungeon, trying to get ourselves the magic missile. We already have the true shadow scales. We've got everything here apart from the magic missiles. So yeah, that's all we really need to do. So that's kind of nice. So I kind of, I don't know, could this be something that's worth making? It requires a lot of purified gel. So we may have to take down the slime god a few more times, but I don't know. I honestly don't know. The God's Gambit. It sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? <laughs> nice one. Right. Now then, in the last episode, I actually completely forgot that this thing was here. It was like tucked down in a corner, like down here or something. But this is the Ruthless Overloaded Blaster, which, as you can see, fires a storm of magic slime at enemies. 33% chance not to consume gel. It requires gel as ammo, which is kind of interesting. And as you can see, it's kind of reminiscent of like... I don't know, it's it's kind of reminiscent of like a, a shotgun with really small pellets. I don't know, it's kind of cool to me. But anyways guys, we're going to start off with Queen Bee, okay? We're going to start off with Queen Bee and all will be good. Now guys, in real life, I've got a lot of things going on. June as a whole is going to be a, a pretty challenging month in terms of trying to maintain daily content on this channel. Because starting from the next weekend, obviously this is going on a Saturday. But starting from next weekend, I'm actually going to be away Three weekends in a row, okay? First weekend, I'm going to be on a little camping holiday. Second weekend, I am down where I used to live uh, for my friend's stag do because he's getting married. And then the week after that, I'm going to be best man for his wedding. So, you can imagine, there's a lot of things going on. So, there's going to be a decent amount of pre-recorded content, my friend. So, you know, if you don't like pre-recorded content, then I apologize. But it's just so I can keep things rolling on the channel while I am away. So, yes. Wait, hang on, what was that guy? Oh, oh, okay. For some reason, I thought he was someone new. I have no idea. I am so dumb. Anyways, uh, we're moving up here because we need to take down a queen bee, get ourselves one of those uh, beautiful treasure bags, you know what I'm saying. And, uh, yeah, everything is going to be good. But, guys, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to camping. Like, last time I went camping was, like... I don't know, it was like among the first times I met Charlotte, my girlfriend, so it, it's, it kind of holds a, a dear place in my heart, camping. And I love camping as a whole anyway, so that's kind of nice. Right, here we go. Yeah, There we go. We emerged victorious. Can you, like, die, please? Thank you. Right. Okay, and it's all lit up, and that is just getting absolutely flooded right now. <laughs> Oh my lord. Right, I mean, I don't see a reason why we can't just do this thing now. So, we've got ourselves the slime dude thing. And yeah, everything should be okay, right? Ha! Okay, 18 damage. Hey, man. If she gets, like, a decent amount of, like, string of hits on me, things could get a little bit salty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, huh. Well, I, don't, I don't quite understand what it... Oh, God, I'm trapped. I'm actually trapped. Okay. That's fantastic. I feel like I should be using the uh, Hellfire Arrows, because they will do- what? Hello. You crazy woman! Jeez, man, lay off the honey sugar! Freaking moron. Hey, hey, buddy, come on! Oh, jeez, what the hell? 106 crit damage? Wow, not bad for pre hard mode, huh? Sweet! 2,700 health. Let's just keep going, my friends. Let's have a little bit of health, because why not? Uh, come on, gal. Come on! Oh, there you go. Whoa! Oh, she's dashing real quick now. Like I said, lay off the damn honey. Jesus. Hey, buddy. Come on. How are you looking right now? How are you looking? How are you looking? Uh, about half health. Hey, come on, man. We can do this thing. We can do this thing. I mean, at the very least, if things get real bad, we could maybe head out here. Ha! Huh, for a little bit of additional space. You know what I'm saying? Okay. In the meantime, we're doing fairly well. Less than a thousand health. Our little life regen mushroom clump dude is doing pretty well. And yeah, the queen bee is about to die. This is brilliant. Ha! 
Get wrecked. All right, fantastic. Man-eater bulb? What the hell is that? I haven't seen that before. A man-eater bulb material. Even if you could plant this, it would be a bad idea. Wait, what? It's a material? Living dew. Oh, what? A goblin army is approaching again? Are you kidding me? Living dew. 10% increased damage reduction, plus 5 defense, and increased life regen while in the jungle. Mate, that's pretty cool. Trapper bulb, murky paste. A blob of biomatter. Gypsy powder. What the hell is this stuff? Beetle juice. Huh. Trapper bulb, I imagine you get from the angry trappers. Uh, I'm not sure about these three things right here. But yeah, these things clearly stack. So that's totally fine. Right, what have we got? Is it a bee's knees? Oh, yes, boys. We got ourselves a bee's knees, which means, ladies and gentlemen, we can make ourselves the Lunarian bow now. Uh, unfortunately, we have the pesky darn goblins to take down first. So, yes, I mean, you've seen me do that many, many times before. Not only in this series, well, I'll say many times in this series. I think I've only done it once in this series, but you know what I mean. You guys, you guys don't need to watch me take down the goblins again, do you? So, I'm just going to go ahead and pwn them all, and then I'll be back once we're ready to make the Lunarian bow. Let's do it. Yep. Me thinks this sword is absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at it. It's just pwning everyone. <laughs> nice. And let's... Go. There we go. Goblins out the game. <laughs> Easy as pie. Oh, what? Oh, no. Two people just died. Oh, god darn it. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, no. The the, the dude was in the, the angler. Oh, no. He left. Oh, no. Oh, well, in the meantime, the traveling merchant has arrived. <laughs> that timing, though. All right, boys. What you got for me this time? Buddy Riley, what you got for me? Uh, huh. Extendo grip. Huh? Well, I don't need any of this. I've already got Fez. How many times has he sold the freaking Fez? Jeez, man. Uh, wait, I just want to check out something. So, oh, yep. Yeah, we've already got a Fez. Yeah, as you can see, guys, what I've also done since the last episode... We're doing this just before making the Lunarian bow, by the way. Uh, as you can see, I've also gone ahead... And I've finally started organizing all of my stuff into the relevant chests here. So, yeah. Everything's looking a lot more organized now. Believe me, I've got some more chests in my little chest collection over here. This is going to be like the valuable... That it was a human quack. <laughs> we've, got the, uh, we've got the variety of chests here. This is like the valuable side of things. We've got weapons, accessories, ores and gems, ingots and bars. And then it's going to be like other things like heart crystals, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Very, very nice. Anyways, guys, let's actually make the Lunarian bow now. Let's do it. All right, guys, and here we are at the Demon Altar, the Lunarian bow. Here we go. The power of the knight resides within this bow. Demon bow, Bolt of Fury, Bee's Knees, 10 Purified Gel. Easy. There we go. Nimble. Okay, so... What? That is incredible. Holy poop. So what, does it, like, convert all arrows? Huh. So it looks like some arrows... Oh wait, they like bounce along the floor. That is so cool! It like shoots out like a burst. That's incredible! Okay, so what if I go ahead and get myself some regular arrows? Do I have some regular arrows? Uh, seven of them. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Yeah, okay, so all arrow types are the same, essentially. Huh. Maybe I should sell, save up these arrows for another time, then, and uh, just use regular wooden ones for now. Seems like a good idea, doesn't it? So, let's grab these out. I'm pretty sure I've got some more down here as well. Uh, arrows? Aha! There we go. 420. <laughs> Had to be that number, didn't it? There we go. Nimble. Absolutely fantastic. We've got ourselves a brand new bow, guys, and we're going to be using this in the dungeon where we are going to hopefully obtain the magic missile and maybe seeing if there's anything new in there as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's a really, really cool weapon. Right, uh, Goblin Tinkerer. Hello, hello. I am going to go ahead and get myself more damage on the Lunarian bow because... Oh, jeez, that's kind of expensive. Hey, man, that's kind of nice, though. I'll take that. Speed and damage. The two things I want most on my range of weapons. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Okay, guys, the time has come. Let's move over to the dungeon. Let's see if we can get ourselves one of those beautiful thingy thing thing massive magic missile things. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah. And did I mention I got the honeyed goggles from that Queen Bee fight as well? <laughs> it's so slow. 
Oh my word. Is that like the caveat for like the infinite flight? Like it just slows down and then just like stops? I mean, look at that. It is literally just stopping. And I don't appear to be able to go back up now. Huh. So, it's like pre-hard mode crappy wings, kind of? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. I'll always take the honeyed goggles. <laughs> nice one. Hey, here we go, guys. We're at the dungeon, and we've already found a surface-style chest with some recall potions in it. That's actually really cool. As well as a golden key. Fantastic. So, uh, the more golden keys we get, the more things we open, and the more things we open, the more chance we have of getting ourselves a magic missile. Now, I don't think I'm going to do my normal thing of just skimming over this place. I mean, yeah, as soon as I get myself the the thing that I want... Oh, the bad mechanic is around here somewhere. Uh, hello? Found mechanic. Oh, hello! Would you like to go back in the base? There you go. Please enjoy. Please enjoy my base. <laughs> All about that base. Sweet! But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do what I normally do, which is just go ahead and just very simply just, like, browse through, get what I need, and then go. I mean, that's what I will do at the start, because I want to get myself that freaking night's raid. But then after that, I'll probably come back here and then uh, raid the rest of it to see if there's anything new. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, Muramasa. Okay, not a bad start. Not a bad start. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't mind having another one of these crim slime dudes. Yeah, go on in, buddy. My little army of guys. Yeah, look at those. They're freaking poning everyone. It's amazing. Hey, a clothy of voodoo doll. We could take down Skeletron again if we so wished. <laughs> nice one. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and continue exploring. Hey, there's a tally counter. Nice one. More things for some eventual epic accessories. Hey, man, the earlier on we get these things, the less grinding we'll have to do later down the series. So I'm pretty happy about that. Sweet! And meantime, everybody's just getting absolutely wrecked. <laughs> ah, I get destroyed. Hey, magic missile! There it is! Guys, the time has come where we can actually make ourselves the Knight's Ray. We have been grinding for a little while to get that bad boy now. Well, I say grinding for a while. We actually got the stuff really easy. Just the magic missile was the last piece of the puzzle, wasn't it? So, you know... Well, it wasn't that bad, to be honest with you. In fact, it wasn't bad at all. <laughs> Sweet. Right, a chest there. Chest there. We can put two more chests on this side, which is pretty cool. And then we'll have to move elsewhere, I guess. Uh, water candle, you can go in there. Bewitching table, I will place you up uh, here. Or not. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why it's not letting me place it there. But anyways, uh, I'll put it down here. Boom. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got myself one of those beautiful things. Sweet. Right, now what we need to do is we need to head over here, grab all the required materials... And then get the stuff done. So, what do we need? We need ourselves a wand of sparking. We need ourselves an amber staff. We need ourselves one of these bad boys as well. And yeah, that should actually be it. Some uh, some true shadow scales as well. And then that literally should be it. Uh, true shadow scales are in one of the unorganized chests back at the old base. So I can go get those real easy. In fact, I'm pretty sure I know where they are straight off the rip. There they are. Fantastic, guys. Oh, my God. We're about to make the night's way, guys. Freaking sweet. Let's go make it. Hello, underwater demon altar. Nice to see you again. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The night's way. Annoying. Ah, oh, man. You couldn't give me a good one? Come on, bro. Hey, it's just started raining. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, so, let's head down to this guy down here. Our back, you have so far been giving me epic enchantments on my thing. So, why don't you go ahead? Uh, maybe something which doesn't have less mana cost would be kind of nice. Uh, Ruthless, that's kind of cool. Ooh, cool. So, yeah, with this thing, enemies must be near for the beam to split. Fires a beam of dark energy that can split into additional beams. Pretty cool, right? So, and this thing can eventually be upgraded into a terror ray. Wow, and that's a material within itself as well. What does that upgrade into? Terror Ray, Elemental Ray. Oh my god. Wow. Needs Luminite Bars. Wow, that is a proper, proper late hard mode weapon, huh? Jeez, dude. That's crazy. Alright, well, in the meantime, I think I'm going to organise my inventory and we'll head back to the dungeon. Alrighty guys, I don't know about you, but I think it is about time we started testing out our new barrage of weapons. The Lunarian Bow and the Knight's Ray. Right, let's give this a go. Boom! Uh, huh. Okay. Nothing special going on there. We need a whole bunch of mobs to- Oh, hello! That is pretty cool. I will grab that and I will use that key on this chest down here. Because why not? Hey! Cobalt Shield! Brilliant. I'm really glad we got that early on, actually. 
That's pretty awesome. Right, uh, it would be cool to get ourselves the water bowl at some point, if we can see it, that is. Uh, ha! There we go. My little fungal clump is going to work right now, which is fantastic. Hey, buddy, get wrecked! Oh, wow. <laughs> it's just everybody else is just getting kills for me. Like, I'm not even able to test out my weapons because everybody's just getting the kills for me, you know? <laughs> Dungeon Slime! Where are you, buddy? Uh, Dungeon Slime? Oh, oh, he's down there. I see you! I see you. You can't miss dungeon slimes. Oh, okay. So each time, it hits an enemy multiple times. Yeah, look at that. It, it hits them twice per time you shoot them. That's awesome. So this is actually a very, very strong weapon. Wow. That's kind of badass. <laughs> nice. Hey, man. I'll take the chest statue. Uh, how, how, about, how about some other things? We've got some, like, bookcases and stuff here. Oh, my lord. Oh, there's lots of things going on, huh? Jeez, man. All right, so we are looking for some more chests, I guess. I mean, I... Oh, god damn it. I don't know if there's, like, anything new inside the chests, which the Calamity Rod has given us, but I guess that'd be something to find out eventually, huh? Another bewitching table. Uh, I feel like it would be a good idea to get the bewitching effect back on and uh, maybe resummon these guys. There we go. Absolutely brilliant, dude. We're not doing bad at all. What's this? Blue moon. Is that a material? Nope, it is still not a material. That's fair enough. Right, cool. All right, should we... Whoa. I, wanna, I really want to get like a, a cluster of enemies. Huh. If I split into additional beams. Oh, hello. I'm going to go ahead... Uh, ow, 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 ow. Why don't you go ahead and leave me alone, broski? Oh, yeah, I see, I see it splitting now. Ah, dude, that's awesome. Dude, I can imagine this weapon. In fact, you guys were saying that this weapon is an absolute monster against the wall of flesh. And uh, yes, I can imagine that being the case, for sure. <laughs> Brilliant. I think the only weapon I haven't really tried out yet is the Eldritch Tome here. Boom. Ooh, it set on fire. That wasn't fire, was it? It was just some sort of weird cursed beam or something. Ha, get off me. There you go. Thank you. Sweet! Alright guys, I'm going to continue on and we shall see what we can find. Hey! The Valor, or Valor. Never know how to pronounce that one, but uh, still pretty cool nonetheless. The frozen chest has also been found, which is kind of nice. Uh, still no sign of a water bowl just yet. Still wouldn't mind finding it either. I'm looking for a very specific kind of book. You can normally tell because it's a, it's like a blue book with a white stripe on it, okay? So if you guys see a blue book with a white stripe on it, you can hover over it and then that's how you'll be able to tell that it's a water bowl because it like hovers over with like an icon, I guess. Uh, ha! Get wrecked. Uh, uh, not much going on over here, is there? Just a bunch of dudes trying to kill me. Nothing new there, is there? <laughs> Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Get wrecked. There you go. Uh, another golden key. Fantastic. Uh, aha! You see? Look at this. Look at this. Very, very closely. Look at this. This is how you can tell that this is a water bolt. Look. It's a blue book with like a... It's, is it a white stripe? It looks more yellow to me. And yeah, you hover over it and there you go. Boom. Water bolt inbound. Sweet! Right, we need to chuck something away. Can I like make these into something OP? Uh... Not really. Right, I'm going to chuck those away in which case. Fantastic. Hey guys, I'm feeling pretty good about that. We've got ourselves one of those beautiful water bolt things. Which again, is pretty damn good against the wall of flesh. But I'm definitely going to be giving it a go with the uh, modded weapons. You know, the Knight's Ray would be a cool idea, huh? There's the corruption chest found and marked. Okay, there's just one more special type of chest we need to find in which case. And I do believe that may be the hallowed one? Jungle... Frozen, yeah. The hallowed one is the only one we haven't found yet, which is fair enough. Ha! Get wrecked. Okay, and uh, you can also get wrecked, and we can see what's in here. Aha! The handgun. Fantastic. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to make use of my piggy bank. Uh, oh, I don't mean wood. Oh, dang it. Okay, is there like... Aha! Just a, just a platform. That's all I need. Just a little platform to place, place down the old piggy bank. Sweet! Right, let's place everything in here, and then we shall carry on, my friends. Yeah, handgun. Pretty happy about that. I'm very happy about that, in fact. Sweet! Hey, shadow key! Ah, that brings me on to another point. I wonder if there's anything new in the shadow chests from the Calamity mod. Would be kind of cool. All right, we've got ourselves another Muramasa. Uh, a bad one. Uh, should we see if there's anything we can make with that, aside from the Knight's Edge? Or is it just going to be the Knight's Edge? Uh, yeah, or the bloody edge. It's gonna be the night's edge because we have ourselves the other things. Wait, what? Oh, chance to heal the player on enemy hit. 
Whereas this one is just normal. Huh. Well, I think I know what kind of saw we're going to be making. Once we get ourselves a blade of grass, that is. <laughs> Sweet! Bloody edge! It's going to be our next goal, probably. Another cobalt shield. And in addition to that, we have ourselves an aqua scepter. Okay, nice one. So one of the other cool things about the dungeon is, look at the paintings you can get here. Like, this one is some dude battling the Eye of Cthulhu with a sword. The eye sees the end. The end being the sword's blade. <laughs> uh, what, what is... Uh, I'm not entirely sure. There's a picture of a woman or something. Hey, man. Might as well take it. What about this one? Uh, oh, it looks like a little family of goblins. Playing something. Or celebrating a birthday. I have no idea. <laughs> goblins playing poker? Really? <laughs> Sweet. Well, that would kind of play into the whole gambling aspect of reforging your weapons, right? It kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> cool. Right. I know exactly where to put that. I'm going to give that to the goblin tinkerer. <laughs> <laughs> nice! And what do you know? There's the hallowed chest. Sweet! Okay, uh, how many keys have we got? Oh, we haven't got any keys left? For real? Wait, hang on a minute. Let me just, uh, let me just make sure that's not the case. Uh, oh, we actually have run out of keys. Well, gosh darn it, man. I'm going to have to try and get myself some keys somehow. Oh, man, let's wait for some dungeon slimes to spawn in, maybe? They're the easiest by far way to get them. So, yeah. All right, guys, let's keep farming. Alright guys, so I'm pretty convinced that this is actually the last gold chest. Let's open it up. We've got ourselves another Aqua Scepter. Absolutely fine and dandy. The reason why I think that is because I think I've actually explored all of the dungeon now. Uh, that's a candelabra. We're looking for like bright yellow like blobs on the map. Uh, bright yellow blobs. No, I think that is actually it. I think we've explored the entire dungeon. Alright guys, nice one. Yeah, we've got some good stuff today, my friends. We've taken down Queen Bee, we've got ourselves new epic weapons. And yeah, next episode, I think we're going to be making our way up to potentially taking down the Wall of Flesh. I don't imagine it's going to be a very difficult fight. In fact, at all, I think it's going to be an absolute breeze, in fact. <laughs> Although, I don't know. You know, there's always surprises in expert mode, isn't there? So, yeah. In the meantime, what I can finally do is if I just place this bad boy down, I'm going to get the alchemy station out. There we go. And then we can actually start placing this stuff in. There we go. So we've got a little bit of that. And then this is going to be the potion ingredients chest. So I can now move the one over from where this one is here. The other potion ingredients chest. We can actually move that one and then all will be good. So yeah, feeling pretty good about that guys. But uh, yeah, I think on that note, I think it's going to be time to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you did enjoy this episode, of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. That'd be super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And that'll wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching guys. And yes, I will see you guys in the next episode.